welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Pisces Sun Moon and Rising it is the fourth week of August 2017 and the week begins from um, the 21st until the 27 okay this is um, the fourth and last week before the end of the month of August this week is the week of strength in a strength you are going to be looking for inner strength whatever the energy is this is the week of inner strength and what happened is that this is a time when um, you're going to realize that uh, um, a lot of stuff is on your plate a lot of stuff is coming up um, uh, conflicts in relationship their endings coming with some fire people you're moving away from a situation a karmatic situation that you're moving away from in this four weeks so whatever the energies are the first two days is going to be a fire 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 energy and the rest of the week is going to be our earth energy because we are changing the zodiac energy vibration is changing in this week as we look at your focus your focus is going to be the energy of uh, your own energy vibration which is the Queen of Cups the energy of the Queen of Cups has to do with a nurturing it is a week of nurturing for a lot of you either you be nurturing yourself or you be nurturing other people or whatever situation that is happening so we're actually looking at certain aspect and certain is situation in our lives and realizing how um, these needs to be in balance whatever the situations are around us it, they need to be in balance and we will realize that some situation are really out of balance and we need to bring balance in our lives and around us okay so whatever the situation is happening whatever is going on we need to understand that balance and nurturing is going to be a focus in this week okay as we look forward we are going to look and see what are the messages are here because you have the um, two major arcanas and um, the nine of swords um, your week is a week of the four of cups and the energy of the four of cups is always a positive one I'm sorry I'm looking for my glasses which is all the way over there so what we're having is the four of cups which uh, um, the four of cups is always bringing a balance in your life which is going to be the focus okay let's um, look at what is happening what are the all the situations there's a protection whatever is going on you're looking inwards so to find answers to certain things okay and you're trying to figure out what is going on around you okay um it's, it's, you're going to be dealing with a lot of people in this week whatever the situation is you'll be dealing with a lot of people um in this week there is an a lot of energies that are coming up that you need to deal with you'll be dealing with the king of swords the queen of swords some people will be dealing with financial bringing um, your intuition is going to guide you how you can prepare your um, financial situation whatever the um, situation is going on and then you have um, sorrows worries uh, with an organization with a group whatever that is so you're seeing all of these things um, playing up you're moving away from a karmatic situation whatever that is in your life you're moving away from a karmatic situation that has to deal with uh, someone who is a Leo um, Aries or um, Sagittarius whatever that situation is or was you're moving away from it so, you, 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 there's a lot of people that is going to be moving away from um, things in their lives okay um, five of swords there's going to be conflict with uh, with the, the the prince of swords there are going to be conflicts with the prince of sword okay let's come together and look at your reading honestly there is actually no comfort in numbers because you have the eight you have 10 you have the king of swords it's all is a lot of people it's a lot of conflicts a situation that you're protecting yourself it's going to be 
a week of confusing situations that are happening around you so be aware of this okay as we look at Monday it is a fire sign on Monday you have the energy vibration of uh, the king of wands in reverse and I want to say to um, each and every person out there whoever is dealing with this king of wands uh, be aware because when they're in the reverse form they can be very very nasty so whoever you have to deal with who is someone this king is uh, have the energy vibration of um, a Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Be aware of them because you seems to be protecting yourself from this person in 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 you know mentally or physical. Um, because this person is a sick person. Okay. Um, whenever these people vibrate on a lower energy, they're extremely extreme because remember they carry the energy vibration of the fire energy, and you understand when fire gets out of hand and when the energy of the fire, when the wind blow the fire, that's why hair and wind people should not, you know there is a consequences in relationships uh, whoever this person is you're trying to protect because you, you are a water sign and this is a fire sign person and um, it can be a person or, or it can be a situation or an issue that you need to deal with that has to deal with that has the energy vibration of a fire sign behind it whatever is happening you're trying to protect yourself against this person from this person okay so that is going to be something on Monday. On Tuesday, you have the energy of the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a hair energy vibration. You're having, you're worried about something on Tuesday. Whatever the situation is, it has to do with an organization. So there is a worry on Tuesday that has to do with an organization. Whatever that situation is, um, you're worried somehow you're worried it's as if you're feeling something and you're worried about a, a situation in an organization okay as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the four of cups the energy of the four of cups is here and what is happening is that you are looking inwards you're looking inwards on um, for for you're looking inwards to find balance emotional balance inwards you're looking inwards to find emotional balance whatever is happening you know it is a, a situation that you're feeling as if you know I am just blowing out of proportion I'm not um, I'm not sure where I am you know that sort of a thing and uh, you you need to find balance you need to find balance and understanding and then you will you know be on solid ground so this is extremely good so as we move forward we have the energy of the eye princess on Thursday it is a healing day because we have the four of cups as the crowning reading and the eye princess comes up on Thursday listen to your intuition your intuition um, information is going to come in about um, money how you can make your financial situation better so whatever is happening on Tuesday so Thursday somehow um, some information are going to come in to teach you how you can deal with certain aspect and certain situation in your life so this is going to be extremely positive okay whatever is happening this is coming in because uh, um, somehow you're going to receive a message of how you can deal with a situation okay as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the page of swords in reverse and this is a positive positive sign whenever the page of sword is reverse whoever this person is is um, the energy vibration of an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra or someone who was listening to your conversation or that sort of a thing and it's mostly some uh, people who have been because a lot of people are not aware that whatever you do on your um, mo um, uh, mobile device, whether your iPad or your telephone, um, it's all been watched. Um, there are people um, looking at your information. So be aware of this. So this is, in, in this form, this is uh, for some people who um, whose device has been 
either act of people doing it for their own um, personal purpose or whatever it is but there is an end coming to the situation whatever the situation is or was okay and this situation has to do with the night of uh, um, the king of uh, um, of 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 wands the king of wands so whatever is happening there is coming an end to a situation okay um, sometimes it's good to turn your mobile devices off I do that frequently frequently um, sometimes it's good also to set your uh, your location out also okay because there's so many things going on that uh, we um, as a consumer are not told about but you know whatever is happening in this week uh, um, whatever and whoever that was um, you know accessing your mobile device or so it's coming to an end as we move forward the wheel of fortune is bringing you a new part in your life whatever the situation is a lot of people are going on a new part it's as if the wheel of fortune whatever karmatic situation that you have been dealing with for um, seven to nine years or nine to seven seven to nine years um, the wheel of fortune is going to push you in a new direction and in a new place in your life and sometimes this is good because sometimes we try to hold on on things and relationship that is already over and the universe needs to the universe comes in to help you um, to move on so that the other person can also move on and so and and there they will find themselves and connect with themselves okay so this is a wonderful um, situation in the sense that um, you have been stuck with a situation or a person it's as if you think that this is the only person in the world and that sort of a thing and maybe this person do not want to be with you anymore and this person wants to move on to something much better in their lives and you keep on holding on to this person so there is no exchange of energy that you are getting so that you can move yourself on because you're so focused on this person and you need to understand that now is the time something is going to happen that the wheel of fortune is going to have to move you away and it's actually for some people from a situation because I'm not seeing any love here it's all from a situation that is moving you away from a negative situation that affects your life as we look at the last day this is on Sunday we have the eight of cups the eight of cups keep on coming up so a lot of people I'm not sure as I call upon the angels and guides there are certain things there's certain energy because there's two um, energy in the week a lot of people are moving away from certain things a lot of people are moving away from situation in our lives and this is going to be moving in um, a new direction the energy some people are just walking away from um, um, a, a queen um, and that is someone over the age group of um, 35 and that is an Aquarius that is an Aquarius a, a, a Virgo or a Gemini a Libra or a Gemini it can also be a Virgo Sun Moon and Rising sign okay because um, sometimes when you're reading people like the last time you're seeing these energy vibration and then they said no but I'm not but it's actually the Sun Moon and Rising sign of who they are okay it's not a week of um, love in the most positive form it is a week of a lot of worries with a group with an organization you're finally moving you away from a situation that has affect your life for seven to nine years I'm seeing the second half of the week is that you're listening to your intuition and by listening to your intuition you'll be able to make um, your financial situation better and whatever the situation there's a situation that you're walking away from and some people who are in a relationship with an Aquarius a, a Libra or a Gemini you'll be walking away from 
this relationship okay so if you're having a relationship with someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libran you're walking away from this relationship you're moving away um, you're ending this relationship you are um, moving um, to better ground so whoever there was out there sometimes you're not aware that other people have sent you things and have things on your telephone and whoever is listening to your telephone this is going to finally come to an end whatever the situation was or is that has been affecting you it's going to finally finally come to an end so it is not a sense of love um, for yourself but it's more a sense of love uh, trying to heal certain aspects and certain situations in your life in this in this month and it's going to be a, a month of uh, um, healing a uh, week of healing it's going to be a week of healing okay um, whatever is going on I need to ask ask a question whatever is going on we need to understand that love is the only thing that is real and what what is so wonderful about this week is that it's affecting both the men and the women in the same way it's affecting both the men and the women in the same way so whatever that has been happening in your life it's going to uh, in, 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 in this week it's going to be affecting the men and the women if you are in a relationship with someone who is an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini, you'll be thinking about ending this relationship, okay? And for the people who are in business with the Aries, Leo, or um, Sagittarius, you'll be walking away from this situation most people are going to be ending situation also with the Leos the Sagittarians and uh, um, the Aquarians okay whatever the situation there seems to be a worries in an organization and I'm going to ask the message what is this uh, um, worries about this organization and it's a felicity felicity and you know you have you have no need to worry okay there is such you're having such a worry about a situation or an organization and it's felicity you have no need to worry um, your worries is on call for let's say it like that so here I am I'm going to ask again because that was color for your soul chakra okay this is good because I, I saw it I was wondering why um, why what is happening whatever is happening in this organization on Tuesday to bring forth this worries okay because here you have the situation with the organization that you were worried about whatever that was happening there is coming an end to it okay um, the towers are blowing up and they're coming an end to it okay so this is good so for your chakra we're working with Archangel Uriel in this week for the yellow chakra or the masters of the yellow ray because the energy vibration for this week for you guys is going to be yellow there's absolutely no numbers for you guys whatever the situation is it's all about ending healing deciding to move on from situation the high princess is here this is the first time she comes up in this week we read and she came up for you guys so obviously you need to listen to your intuition ex especially on Thursday okay Felicity is a wonderful positive energy because what it is doing it is guiding you along it is so it says you're listening to your intuition and connecting it and it is guiding you along so whatever is happening in your life be aware that Felicity is taking over and is healing um, situation in your life so be aware of this okay if you have any questions that you need answers for in this week ask your question because we are using the energy of uh, um, we're using the energy of the angel um, cards and whatever it is so the answer for the angels what message you'd like to come out yes so whatever your question was your answer is yes okay 
and this yes is a good yes it's not a, a yes that say <laughs> because this yes is always a good yes because what it does is um it's it's um it's it's bravo it's the yes that comes with bravo finally you have um, you know you understand what is your next step or you understand um, where you are or you understand what it is so it says yes to whatever it is that is positive that is going to help yourself or someone else whatever you were asking about whatever you were thinking about doing which is good and positive only which is good and positive it's a yes so congratulations so I want to say to you Pisces please remember to listen to the Sun moon and rising um, um, deal of your sign and go back and listen to the monthly reading because um, this month was a month of five weeks so um, go back and listen to the two last week of the readings and I'm saying namaste until next time